out because I did it before and I'm doing it again, but this time I'm doing it right in a 10 gallon tank instead of in a 20 gallon tank. But yeah, in the video I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can do this on a budget and really easy and it does not take up much time at all. And yeah, it's really fun to raise up an army of fish for whatever reason you might have wanted it. But yeah, let's get into the video. All right, first we're gonna be covering guppy behavior basics. Now, this is one thing that I personally struggled with because I would always get confused because I saw something new that didn't happen, but I'm gonna be covering over some of the most common ones that I personally have found in my past experiences with breeding guppies. Um, I think number one is if you see a male chasing after a female, it'll typically be going under. Well, don't worry, they're not fighting, they're just, they want to make bebe. If you know, you know. Basically, babies. But yeah, that is behavior number one. Now, behavior number two is if you see a female um, and she is hiding off in the corner, she's being really standoffish and maybe even like a little bit aggressive. And if you know for a fact that she is pregnant, that means she is really close to giving birth. Another sign that they are close to giving birth is uh, not really a behavior, but more of an appearance. Um, you will see a what is known as the squared off look you'll so there will be like the belly and it'll go down and then kind of be squared off her grabbing spot will be squ square if you don't know what that is it's basically her reproductive system uh, right near the anal fin and not all females have a dark grabbing spot but typically whenever it gets darker that means they're closer to giving birth and especially when it gets bigger that also means they're closer to giving birth and the third and final thing that is very very important also again it's not really a behavior I don't know really where I was going with that anywho but um, whenever you start breeding guppies always have a ratio of more females than males the reason for this is because if you have females in your tank along with males, I guarantee you they will all the time constantly be pregnant and they will be giving birth typically anywhere from like 28 to 30-ish days. So typically like once a month. But whenever you have guppies, do what you can to keep your ratio of uh, males to females consistent. Always start off uh, with a ratio based on three females to two males um, or even more uh, females. To more males um, but yeah what I personally would suggest doing is if you want a lot of color variety I would probably get go to the pet store and pick out some of your select favorite uh, fish that you see in the tanks and then get a bunch of females and then breed them um, I would suggest maybe consider crossbreeding endlers and guppies if you want them to go out in an outdoor pond because endlers are a little bit more hardy than guppies are. Also, another thing to look for when you get fish at the pet store, um, fat fish, but not insanely bloated. I think you'll know if a fish is bloated. You'll see their scales like popping out. It could be because they have dropsy or um, swim bladder infection or whatever. So get fat fish, but not too fat fish and not too skinny fish because it's possible that they have a parasite and what the parasites do is typically they get inside the uh, digestive tract of the fish and they eat all the nutrients that um, the fish are taking in so and uh, another sign of this is when they poop uh, their poop won't have there will be like some clear spots now if you do see some clear spots don't panic it just could be a sign of underfeeding but yeah that's another thing to research and if you guys have that problem let me know because I might even do another video on things to look for with guppies and their issues but yeah that's all I have to say now let's get into setting the tank up alrighty guys now we got it all ready um, I got this all cleaned out and whatnot so yeah step one is put the sand alrighty guys we got the sand right here so basically what you want to do is just you just need a substrate layer um, I forgot exactly why, just trust me that it's important. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if this will be enough. I might have to get another bag later. Obviously, I won't put this in the, that in the video because it's boring. But, uh, yeah. So, basic. Oh, nice. It is enough. But, yeah. Basic substrate layer. Now, it's time for step number two. Alrighty, guys. Now, it is finally time for step number two. 
Um, if you do want to skate this tank, remember you don't have to use white sand. You can use whatever you want. Um, I I just didn't skate it because last time I did it with my 20 gallon, I would get it skated and then I would like try to net a fish out or something, and I would just ruin up my entire aquascape, and it made my life a mess. But yeah, so this is what we got now. Now what you want to do next is put in any decorations or things that you want the, your fish to hide in um, if they're giving birth or even the babies uh, once they're born just to hide in and whatnot. And we'll also do that with plants which I will cover in a little bit. But yeah, let's get all the hardscape in this tank. Hardscape's in, now the water. Now that we got the water in, now what I have here is some sort of like, it's almost like artificial hornwort. Um, I remember when I got it, there was these little bits here, and it was attached to a uh, like hard uh, base piece. But yeah, you can find them at the pet store for like anywhere from like five to seven bucks typically, and then you just like take these off, or you could keep it on there and like put it uh, in the tank. It's up to you. But yeah, basically, what you want to do. I just plop these at the top, and there you go. And now it is finally time to start acclimating the guppies. <laughs> are finally all acclimated now it is time to take them out of the bag and put them into their new home alrighty here we go boom look at that alrighty guys it is a couple days later and it is finally time to turn the light on in this setup we got here. Unfortunately, the two female guppies did in fact die. Um, in the next video regarding these fish, we will probably be eating a sponge filter, uh, two or more female guppies, and a bunch of colorful males so we can breed up an army of colorful fish. But yeah, without further ado, let's turn the light on in this tank. Alrighty guys, it is finally time to turn this light on. In three, two, one. Look at that. That is insane. Honestly, I literally, I put the white sand in here just because it was all I had. Like, I'm not even kidding you. But I think even if it wasn't all I had, and if I went out and bought different sand, I still probably would have put the same stuff in, honestly. It looks so good. I love how it just, like, makes the fish just pot. Like, you can see them so, so much better. It's, like, actually insane. Look at that. Alrighty guys, that is it for the video. If you did go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit five likes today. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. According to my YouTube statistics, only about 68% of you guys are actually subscribed. Positive comment shout out goes out too. Congratulations. But yeah, that's it for the video. Love you all so much. Hopefully I will see you guys in that next video.